morning welcome back to another video out this morning for a stroll no camp on today just a just a stroll in a in an ancient woodland and uh, also a little bit of foraging wild edibles um, it is the time of year for ramsons and some of the shaded areas of the woodland uh, ramsons are in abundance brought a firebox uh, firebox stove so uh, hopefully we can find a little bit of a shaded spot a little bit of a fire and uh, knock up a bit of dinner it's a beautiful March morning so uh, it's nice to be out I'm not a million miles away from home it's uh, it is it's nice lovely not too warm not too cold it's just right so uh, so yeah so I hope you're all staying safe we are uh, we are coming to the end of the, the lockdown period and hopefully uh, not much too, not much not much longer where we can get back out and uh, get some camping done and get back back to hills and uh, doing what we enjoy but in the meantime I'm going to enjoy this walk and uh, hopefully find uh, find what I'm looking for I'll see you soon So here we are, small plantation of, uh, of Ramsons wild garlic. It smells absolutely gorgeous. Crunch it up in your fingers and get a strong smell of the uh, garlic. So it's, um, <coughs> it grows in shaded spots of the woodland, and this time of year it's uh, it's grown in abundance. There's quite a lot of it around here. I just had a look up, back up there, and there's quite a bit about. So uh, so yeah so. One thing to note about um, foraging and uh, looking for wild for edibles, wild edibles, is there is some there is some stuff out there that can seriously do you some harm, um, and it's not something to take lightly. Unless you know what you're looking for, know what you're eating. Um, you know, don't 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 risk anything. Do your research, learn about it, and uh, and yeah, look it up. Stuff out there can do you some real harm, especially funguses and mushrooms and such like. I'm no professional, it's all, uh, it's all a learning curve for me, but it's, uh, it's something that you must uh, must take seriously. And I don't want to be that guy that uh, someone's watched one of my videos and uh, so I watched that guy on YouTube and he, he ate it and it was alright. You know, I'm, that's not what I want to do, you know, so I want people to be safe and, uh, and, and enjoy what they do, and, but most, most importantly be safe. So uh, <coughs> it's a plant that's, that's not to be confused with, the, with other things. Um, bluebells are out in force this time of year, uh, lords and ladies, and the characteristics of the leaf can be uh, can be somewhat similar. The biggest thing is to break open the leaf, have a smell of it, and uh, and go from there. But, but yeah, not 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 something to be confused with. So I'm going to gather some of this up, and uh, probably take some of this home, and uh, probably do put some in uh, put some in a in a in a meal or or such like. So yeah, found what I'm looking for. Ramsons and wild garlic. I'll see you soon.
not necessary to go a million miles away from where you live to find really nice locations. It's woodland. 20 minutes from where I live. It's, uh, it's absolutely beautiful. Yeah, beautiful morning. Birds are out. Sun's out. Yeah, it's absolutely gorgeous. And there's one thing that being in this uh, this lockdown has taught taught the majority of people is that you don't have to go a million miles to find somewhere nice, find somewhere spectacular. You know, we don't have to travel miles and hundreds of miles to get to beautiful places when there's beautiful places on our doorstep. And that's one thing that I can take from this lockdown is that I've managed to find find places that are closer to home. Don't get me wrong, I love the Peak District, I love the Lake District. But equally, if I'm only coming out for a wander a couple of hours, you know, I'm not I'm not a million miles away from anywhere. You know, I can pretty much leave my front door and, and be somewhere totally different to where I live. That's one thing I can take away from this lockdown is is that. But it's nice just to sit and listen. Listen to wildlife, listen to to wind in, in blowing trees and it's just nice. Apart from the odd dog barking. Anyway, I digress. So I'm gonna find somewhere now and uh, get this firebox cracking. Because uh, I'm getting a bit peckish. I've got some nice burgers, some nice cheese, and uh, we're gonna knock up a nice cheeseburger. I'll see you soon.
So, going forward, 12th of April, due out of, due out of lockdown, as uh, you're all probably aware. And um, I'm working that night, I'm working, so I'm planning uh, 14th in uh, Lake District. Um, be a solo camp. Um, I'm one of uh, I'm one at Fells up there. Not sure where yet, but um, it'll definitely be somewhere up high. Get back out in uh, get back out in Sulu and uh, get some cracking views. A week after that, <coughs> um, I'm back at Lake District on a kayak at Wild Camp. Um, the plan is uh, to kayak on Derwent Water. I've not got an exact spot yet, but um, that'll be decided once we get there. So, uh, so yeah, finally there's light end the tunnel. Finally, we can start planning, uh, planning ahead, and looking forward to the rest of 2021, and uh, hopefully put the past year behind us. So I'm going to sit here for a little while longer, enjoy this coffee, and uh, yeah, chill out and contemplate the future. So if you've got this far in the video and you've enjoyed watching it, please do give it a thumbs up. Drop a comment in the comments box below, let me know what your thoughts are. And if you've not already done so, then please do consider subscribing, as uh, there is more and more content to come. And uh, hopefully more and more spectacular views to come. So once again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. See you soon.